Hey guys, just want to put together a quick video for you on actually taping up your handguns before you get ready to put them in the press with your Kydex. One of the first things that I had questions about when I started making these holsters was, what was the best way to tape up the slide so you didn't have to worry too much about relieving the ejection port area when you were finished? And also, the best way to leave a sight channel on top of the slide so when you go to draw the pistol out of the holster, you don't have any issues with the front sight hanging up causing you a problem. When I looked at what everybody else had done, I kind of saw a couple of really interesting ideas. I saw some people had made some custom wooden jigs that they'd put on top of their slides. Uh, I saw guys using regular wooden dowels, and actually one of the first things that I did was just tape a pencil right on top of the slide. And while that gave me really good results, it gave me a functional holster, I wasn't happy with the appearance of the holster when I was done. It seems like all that extra material on top uh, with the round pencil it didn't allow the kydex to form over the top of the slide as smoothly as I wanted. It kind of seemed like it bunched up and it didn't give me nice crisp lines. So what I've actually been doing since then is just using this. Just regular old fashioned cardboard. This is just a flat rate box that was laying around. And I cut thin strips out of the box, about half inch, three quarters of an inch long. It doesn't really have to be exact. And I'll trim it to reflect the sight radius of whatever handgun I'm working on. And I'll make sure I leave just enough to cover the front sight post as well. And from there, just take and fold it in half, and it gives you this perfect V-shaped sight channel, which is exactly what I want when it comes to a finished holster. I want something that's sharp, crisp, clean lines. A couple of pieces of tape just on each side. Put it on top. And when that comes out, you're going to have very nice very defined sight channel on your holsters. Now also, on the ejection port, going back to the cardboard box, if you just cut little individual shims, you can stack shims in there until you get to the point where you have a nice flush surface down the length of the slide. So when you go to heat this, or when you go to take this thing out of the press, you're not going to have to worry about heating this area up and relieving all that extra retention that's going to be there causing the holster or causing the handgun to stick in a holster. And before I put this in there, before I tape this up, I'll actually just leave this just slightly proud of the finish on the slide. That way when it goes in the press and everything gets compressed down, when it comes out, it's perfectly flat, perfectly smooth. Now, getting back to tape for a second, when I first started doing this, I kind of went tape happy. I went overboard with all the tape that I'd used. I wanted to make sure nothing was going to move and shift around in the press. So I would just tear pieces of tape off and stick it in there and just go to town. And it actually kind of came back to bite me in the butt. Some of these, this was actually, I think, the second holster that I made. This area right around here, it just seems you can kind of see it. This is actually just three layers of masking tape. That's all it is. And while it doesn't affect the functionality of the holster, the holster still works just fine. This is not something that I'm happy with. It's not the results that I wanted. It's not something that I feel proud to give to somebody else and say, hey, I made this for you. So now when I tape up the handguns, I use the tape very sparingly. And when I do tape, I try and leave the tape to follow the lines of the handgun. Like on this one, it just follows the slide. Everything in there, just right around the factory lines of the slide here. Same thing on the top. When this thing goes in the press and it comes out, it is going to look absolutely amazing. You're not going to have any tape lines in there. You're not going to have anything like this that just kind of looks bulbous and out of place. And you're going to have a very professional finished result. Once you start messing with Kydex at higher temperatures, especially some of the thinner Kydex, and you try to really get really good definition. Let's see if I can get this to focus right here. This line on top, this is actually just one piece of tape. That's all it is. Just one strip of masking tape, and it still leaves an impression in the Kydex. So, even though it's just aesthetics, when you start really trying to get really good definition on your holsters, be careful with the tape. Just go easy. Use it sparingly and don't use more than you have to. One quick note on the tape. When you invest in tape, please spend the extra few cents to get the actual 
blue painters tape. The first couple holsters that I made, I just used the generic tan masking tape that I had laying around the house. And between the heat from the Kydex and the pressure in the press, when that gun comes out, you're going to have a sticky, gooey mess all over your handgun. This is actually just a pair of trauma shears that uh, I had used to make uh, some shears holders for some of the local volunteer uh, EMT guys. And this, just regular generic masking tape, the tan stuff. This, I'm, it'd be worth my time to just throw these away and get a new pair of trauma shears before I try to clean that all off. You're going to have sticky, sticky handguns if you do not use regular blue painter's tape. That's all I have for you guys right now. Appreciate you watching. Leave feedback for me. If you have any questions, I'll post them up. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. You guys have a good night.